So as we expect that bomb cyclone Claire just mentioned to hit western Washington, that timing is looking like tomorrow. Yes, so meteorologist Abby Oconee now explaining what a bomb cyclone is and how it will impact you. Believe it or not, the term bomb cyclone comes from a real meteorological term, bombogenesis. It describes a storm system that explodes in strength, specifically dropping by at least 24 millibars of pressure or more in the span of 24 hours. And this potent storm system tomorrow could do that and more. In fact, one of the weather models that we analyze, expecting this storm to plunge by about 50 millibars or more between tonight and tomorrow. And why the focus on the pressure of a storm? Well, the bigger the pressure difference in different weather systems, the stronger the winds can be. Think of a powerful vacuum that's sucking all of the surrounding air into it. So what does this mean for us here in the Pacific Northwest? We are forecasting very forceful, very damaging easterly, southeasterly winds to develop Tuesday evening. Air will come gushing through the gaps of the Cascade Mountains, rushing off the coast and getting sucked into this low pressure system in the ocean. It's spinning counterclockwise on future cast it almost looks like a cinnamon roll uh, the good news is that the center of this low pressure system will remain offshore in the Pacific but it will approach our region on Tuesday before gradually weakening on Wednesday and moving west well a category one hurricane is defined as having winds of at least 74 miles per hour those are sustained winds and not gusts. So unless the forecast somehow rapidly changes, which we're not expecting at this point, it would not be accurate to describe this storm as having hurricane force winds in our region. Still, if this forecast holds steady, it could bring incredibly damaging winds to parts of eastern Snohomish King and Pierce counties along with the coast. That's a look at what to expect. I'll send it back to you.